Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. I am in a good mood today. Last night at The Graduate, we did very well in trivia. Hey, and if you're into trivia, come check it out every Monday, 7.30 p.m. at The Graduate at their, uh, whatever their bar is called now. Anyhow, I am kind of digging these afternoon storms, but I kind of wish they would break up the heat a little bit. So I guess we do need to get into today's news now. So let's get into it, shall we? No one was seriously injured over the weekend when a large deck collapsed in Glen Burnie. On Saturday night, the Anne Arundel County Fire Department was called to a home on Rosler Drive in Glen Burnie. Twelve people were injured and taken to the hospital, but none of them were with any kind of serious or life-threatening injuries. It does not appear that the deck was overloaded, and the fire department has turned the investigation over to the homeowner's insurance company. The Maryland Hospital Association issued an alarming report. The state is short about 9,000 nurses. And as boomers age, there is a 50% increase in demand for nursing homes and subsequently the nurses to staff those nursing homes. The association is calling for all sorts of incentives to attract candidates to include stipends, tuition assistance, reduction in the cost of education, removing some of the barriers to licensing and offering child care. Congratulations to Joyce Smithy. We did a local business spotlight with her a while ago, and the Baltimore Business Journal just named her as a woman of excellence in the field of law. Joyce does specialize in all things employment, employers, and employees, and has been specializing in that and only that for 23 years. She's based out in West Annapolis. Real wonderful woman. Congrats to Joyce. Well deserved. Here are a few dates for your calendar toward the end of August. First up, on the 25th, the Arnold-based nonprofit Unity Bands will be hosting a reggae night fundraiser at Mother's Peninsula Grill. Unity Bands was born during the COVID pandemic and supports healthcare workers as well as mental and physical resiliency efforts dealing with COVID. And this shindig is at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It'll feature a great reggae band called High Energy Group from Fairfax. All the details on Unity Bands and the event can be found at unitybands.org. And on the 28th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Pip Moyer Rec Center here in Annapolis, it'll be a backpack and school supply giveaway sponsored by the city of Annapolis and Rodney Barnes. Now, Rodney will remember as a TV and film producer, most recently producing the film Winning Time for HBO, and he is also an Eastport native. Now, while Rodney and the city are sponsoring it, there is a greater need. If you can help out, drop off any backpacks or school supplies at either City Hall the Rec Center, or at the Stanton Center sometime before August 23rd. And finally, it's Ticket Tuesday from Ramshead on stage. They've hooked me up with some great seats again to see Pure Prairie League. We spoke with Mike Riley at Pure Prairie League a while ago, so if you missed that, you want to check it out. The show is tomorrow night, August 10th. If you listen to the PPL podcast, you know who opened for them when I saw them way back in 1980. If you'd like tickets, be the first one to let me know the name of the opening band. And I got a pair of tickets for you. Great seats. And you also want to be sure to check out all their other shows coming up at ramsheadonstage.com. And I just got word that Crack the Sky is back for three more dates in November. Some podcast news up this Saturday on the local business spotlight. Jeremiah and Peak Social, which is doing some pretty cool things. And next week, Mary Ewenson and the U Spirit Foundation also doing some great things. All right, that is a wrap. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long end foster company, and Alpha Engineering. So now you just need to hang tight. We have George Young from DCMDVA Weather standing by with your locally forecast weather. All of that's coming up in just a bit. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Hopefully you've come to know and trust this voice when it comes to solar. Many of you out there have already decided you will go solar, but you just haven't decided when. Here's two reasons why the timing is urgent. 
First, the federal tax credit for solar drops from 26 to 22% on December 31st of this year. If you don't commit this summer, you could miss out on 4% of the savings on your solar project. Second, solar locks out today's roaring energy inflation. National electricity costs have jumped 12% in just the last 12 months. You've only got a few months left to sign up to ensure you get installed in 2022 for the full 26% tax credit. If you know solar energy is in your future, now is the time. Call us today at 410 920 236090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's wasted. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend, too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone. This is George with DCMDVA weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, August 9th. Yesterday brought the heat and humidity to the Annapolis region, and today and tomorrow will do the same ahead of some very nice changes in time for the weekend. Look for highs today across Anne Arundel County to again be in the 90s with heat index values once again rising into the 100 to 110 degree range with a small but valid chance for some p.m. showers and storms with upper 80s to lower 90s expected tomorrow with a likelihood of p.m. showers and storms, some of which could be strong to severe with very heavy rainfall. So stay tuned for updates tomorrow as the day progresses and plan accordingly. From there, skies will clear on Thursday as a new air mass starts to filter in from the northwest, which will set the stage for an incredible three-day stretch from Friday through Sunday with plenty of sunshine each day along with lower humidity and p.m. highs in the low to mid 80s and morning lows in the mid 50s to mid 60s so make plans now to get out and about as much as possible for a late summer treat ahead okay that's it for today this is george young of dc mdva weather make it a great day out there today stay healthy and be safe and be sure to follow us on facebook and twitter for regular updates each day along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info and definitely be sure to download our dc mdva weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google app stores, so you can always stay weather-informed. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well-documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. I keep getting asked, is there a bubble that's about to burst? Thankfully, we don't think so. The market today is much different from the 2009 real estate market. The housing bubble of 2009 was caused by too many people buying homes they simply could not afford. This time around, home buyers have to actually qualify to buy homes and put money down. When the market goes through shifts like they are now, different areas and price points react independently. Now more than ever, it's time to work with someone who's been through the shift before to guide you with solid, proven advice. This is a time where wisdom, proactiveness, and intense marketing make a huge difference. Please give us a call today so we can help you navigate these waters. We promise to educate and guide you with your best interest at heart. That's another moving moment with Christy Neidhart of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster company. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.